I'm just playing today. Um, I just finished filming an experiment that I did with some gambling cold wax medium. It's designed to be used with oil paints, but I'm not an oil painter. But I've found that you can also add dry pigments and embed things and use stencils. And so I played around with that earlier and did a video um, just showing my experiments. So that will be on my channel if you want to take a peek at that. But right now I'm just I'm not ready to leave the studio, so I thought I would just play with a two-page spread in my journal. So right now all I've done is lay down um, a coat of gesso on these two pages and I'm going to spray it with water with my fine mist sprayer and I have Tattered Angels it's coconut shell glaze and it came in a kit like three parts that creates a, a certain patina look on things and you see, I think you can probably see how that's all settled at the bottom. So I'm trying to get that. I should have mixed it up before I turned the camera on. But I just want to see. Maybe I can mix it up with a craft stick or so. I don't fit, it won't fit in the bottle. Let's try this. Maybe that fits. Let's see if I can get it mixed up. I haven't used this before, so... I just thought I would play in the meantime my water's drying. Let's just see what happens here. Might as well use this since it's full of the paint. Well, it's kind of brown. I thought it was, yeah, probably not mixed up well enough. I thought it was going to be that pretty blue that I'm seeing on the bottom. It's probably just not. I'm going to throw that in my water basin. Yeah, that made brown when I put it in there, so maybe we're just going to get brown. That's all right. I'm just going to spray it again and see what it does. Oh, that's pretty. See, you just never know. I've got so many art supplies I've never used. That's a pretty effect, isn't it? I'm going to close it. <laughs> what are we going to get? A mess. Oh no, that's kind of cool. That's... I wish it was blue, but well, let's see what else do we have. This was also part of that kit, and this is bronze. Again, it's all on the bottom, but this is... Oh, that's pretty. Let's put this on. I'll see. And this is verdigris. Again, these and these were supposed to be used in a certain order, I'm sure. And but you know, you know me. I'm I don't play by rules. I fly by the seat of my pants. So let's let it fly. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That's one of my favorite favorite colors. Anyway. And then this was the other one. This is going to be like a pale blue, I think. Once I mix everything up. It's real pale on the bottom. More like a royal, or not royal, but a cerulean blue almost right there. Let's give it a fair... Oh, look what that turquoise did while I wasn't looking. So pretty! really I need to clean that sprayer okay do I leave it or do I spray it again <sighs> decisions I'm gonna look at it through the camera and get a better perspective It'd be helpful if you could see it huh I'm gonna move 
over this a little bit so I can straighten my journal. Okay, there, I think oh, it's all in there. If I can just keep it in there, you'll be happy and so will I. I'm going to dry it and then see. Okay, I like the way that looks, but it's still really wet. So I think I'm going to take a break, go get a cup of coffee, and give this maybe a half an hour to dry. And then come back, and I might add some more of that initial brown that I thought was going to be blue. I turn it upside down while I go upstairs, and maybe some of it will mix in better whatever's stuck on the bottom. I'm liking where this go this is going though. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I changed my mind. Instead of waiting for this to dry all the way, I mixed that initial one up that gave us this brown. Really good and it's this real deep metallic -y, dark dark turquoise color. So, I'm just dropping it on. When I dip my brush in my water basin, guess what color it is? Brown. So, I'm a little mystified by this one. I'm going to spray it. Again. Yep, it's still brown. Darn. Well, now I'm going to close it again. Alright. Hmm. Isn't it weird, the properties of paint, how you don't always get what you think you're going to get? And then when I put it on paper, it's brown. So, okay. Now we know. All right, now I'm going for coffee. I'll be back. See, when I wiped it off the craft mat, you see the blue in there? But you're just not seeing it when I put it on paper. Oh, well. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I came back and forgot to turn the camera on because I got excited when I saw this. But when I took the clips off, I had two little white spots here. Duh. So I just took some of the coconut shell glaze. That That's the one that I put on first that I thought was going to be turquoise and was brown. And with a wet brush, and I just kind of went around the edges and then went heavier in the corners to cover up the white spots. And then I went around all just around the edges with the bronze. This is all Tattered Angels products here. But it goes on extremely translucent and you just get this shimmer, I guess kind of like glimmer mist. So now, and then I dried it with a hair dryer. And I kind of have a feeling, I wish I could find the original package it came in because it had all the instructions and everything in it as to how this was intended to be used. And I took the bottles out and put them on my shelf. and. The package is somewhere, but I can't put my hands on it right now. But my point is, I think this um, package, here, I'll show you everything that was in it. There was Verdigris GM Splash CB Bronze GM. So that's going to be Glimmer Mist, and you can see from the... Um, little swatches on the bottles that it's shimmery. This Splash CB, I'm not sure what CB is, and then this Coconut Shell Glaze. So these are all formulated to work together to create a certain patina. Which was what was explained on the package that I can't find. My point is 
I know, it took me a long time to get here. I think when used in a certain order, they react with one another and create a certain look, which I love what it did right here. I'm certain this isn't the intended look, but I really like it. Over here, it was real wet, and I took this old, it's just a um, dishcloth that I use for mop up and whatever. But I just tapped it in and I got this texture that then, you know, when I put the other layers on top, it kind of disappeared and it changed. So anyway, and right here it looks like it's real textured and it's really not. It's very smooth. So, and then here it looks like alcohol was dripped on it, which it wasn't. And you get this the white dots. So I'm now I'm really on the hunt for the package. <laughs> so I know how this is supposed to be used because if this is accidental, I mentioned how awesome it probably looks when you use it in the right order. So I may reach out to Christine Meyer over at Canvas Core Brands, which is where this kit came from and say send me the instructions because I want to play some more but of course these are like all my favorite colors anyways the gray and the turquoise with a little bit of gold just really gorgeous now I need to decide I mean it's pretty background so what am I going to do on top of it I don't know I'm going to just leave it for a while and let it cure and um Maybe I'll do a face, or I'm not sure. But that's my play for today, and I think I'll just share this with you thus far. And when I decide what I'm going to do, or if I'm going to do anything more with these pages, then I'll post another video and I'll let you know. So subscribe so you find out what I did with it, and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I post all my new videos. I try to do one or two a week. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye. Mm -hmm.